What's going on guys? The Vapor Rhino over here. Today I got a, uh, another review for an e-juice or e-liquid and it's going to be Crooks by Alter Ego. Now I know that uh, I've been watching some of these videos. I know that sometimes they don't come up clear, but I'm going to hold it there for a sec right there. But you'll see it flashed up over here uh, by my right side. So Alter Ego is a company that uh, 5150, I guess, uh, sells. Uh, I don't think that 5150 actually makes this juice unless they're an affiliate company. I don't know the exact uh, ramification of all what's going on here, but I know that you can get this off of the 5150 uh, website as well as other sites. I know I hit that juice. Uh, I think, I think yeah, hit that juice, I, th I think also carries it. But uh, you can do a simple Google Google search. So uh, Crooks, this is supposed to be an Oreo cookie flavored e-liquid. And uh, I came across this e-liquid watching some, uh, I was watching a live show of some uh, reviewers that they have uh, late at night. And uh, you know, the one guy, uh, they were puffing away, I guess they were doing some kind of hand checks and uh, they're like, oh, did you see the sea juice? And you know, blah, blah, blah. I mean, this stuff is really good. I mean, he rambled on and on and on about the sea juice. I was like, all right. So I look it up and, and the shit is pretty expensive. And the cheapest I found was $25. And that is for a uh, 60 mil. Yeah, 60 mil right here. So, you know, I was like, ah, oh, you know, $25. I'm like, all right, you know what? Let me give it a shot. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you, you never know, you know, sometimes these premium e juices are, are hit or miss, you know, I know that I tried the the dead man's hand is fucking phenomenal, you know, Philip Rock phenomenal, but um, so I says, let me give this a try. So uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mods I have it on. Now you're probably saying why? Normally I only do three. I do a single coil or a mouth to lung. I do a, a little, uh, uh, I mean, a mata long, a single coil, and I do, I try to do uh, either dual coil RDA or sometimes an RTA. You know, just to give you a little bit of variation because the flavors come out differently and just to, you know, if you're used to just vaping on an RTA, then these are the flavors that are going to come out of this RTA or a sub-ohm tank and stuff like that. So I, I try to give you a variety. Now you're probably saying, why all this? I'm going to explain to you why as we go on. Okay, so we're going to try this on a Hadley sitting on top of a Tesla. This is a, uh, we're vaping it at uh, 26 watts. Now we're going to pick that up a little bit. There must have been another ad here. It's still 45 on this one. Okay, and it's a 0.45 build. Good vapor production out of this. If you had given me this in a blindfold, in all honesty, I wouldn't know what to tell you. Um, I'm trying to come up with something that I'm like, oh, it tastes like this. But I can't come up with anything. It's it's tasteless. I get a slight, maybe, I want to say like a custard, like a super light custard or a cream, a super light cream. That's about it. That's about it. That's it. Okay, let's move it on. So I have it on my Vicious Ant with my Vicious Ant AX1. This is a dual micro coil. Okay. Puts out some banging flavor. All right. Again, good vapor production. I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm getting. Now I'm tasting like maybe a little bit of vanilla. That's about it. That's all I'm tasting. Just a little bit of vanilla. 
and I'm gonna apologize in advance because it's probably gonna get really cloudy in here being that I'm doing this with seven mods just a light vanilla that's about it okay and now I'm gonna do it on my little wasp nine on top of my uh, creator customs custom creations Good vapor production. I'm getting just like a vanilla cream. That's it. Just, just getting a vanilla cream. So, okay, I'm going to do one more and then we'll talk about the bottle. Okay? I have it on my Petri Mech with my single uh, dot mod RDA. Now I'm getting like a little like hint of hazelnut. That's it. So let's take a little break and let's talk about the bottle. Okay, so the bottle. I, I actually dig this fucking logo. I love the mirror image of the of the Oreo cookie right there. I'm enjoying the shit out of that. I mean, real simple, nice and clean. You know, uh, chocolate cookie cream mixed with cream and rolled and sugar cone dust. That's the description. Okay. I'm going to hold it up. I don't know if you can read that, but I could, you know. Right there. So, that's the description. Uh, there is a warning label. Right there. It's not huge, but it's there. And it's blocked out in white. So I got to give them that. You know, I'll give them an 8 out of 10 because it's tiny. But it's there and it is legible. Even without my glasses. It's legible. Okay. There is some information that they use in kosher VG and PG. Keep out of reach of children. Harmful to pets. Proposition 65. And the birth defects and, you know, whatever, blah, 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 all that mumbo jumbo on this side. Manufactured in San Diego, California. That's it. And then there's a little UPC code. That's about it. Regular Gorilla bottle. So that's all fine and dandy. Okay. Now we're going to have it on my executive, uh, Shark Executive 5 with my doggy style on top. This is going to do uh, 28 watts at a 0.19 build okay this is a single coil mouth to lung zero zero flavors coming out of here and that's almost impossible I'm getting like some kind of an e-juice flavor, but it's there's no distinguished flavor that is coming out and say, okay, yes, this is cream, or this is vanilla, or this is this. You know, and even said coated in sugar dust, there is no sweetness to this at all. Still maintained for a month long, still maintaining a great bait production. That's about it there. All right. Let's go to the dot mod Petri. This is a dual coil. Great vape production.
I just got the ever so light taste of like powdered sugar. That's about it. And it's not even overwhelmingly sweet. It's just like, you know, like you get that, if you open up a brand new box of powdered sugar and you get that first whiff, that's about it. I'm getting the whiff of the powdered sugar. Okay. That's about all I'm tasting in here. That's it. That's it. Okay. And finally, I have this, it's a 0.66 build on here. This is uh, the dot mod dual mech, and I do have it in the series mode. I can't imagine any more power than that going through two coils than the dual uh, uh, 18650. So if this liquid needs to be burned at high uh, temperatures, this is it right here. Okay, so in here, I taste some kind of cookie, like a, a, a I don't know, I, I, again, not distinguished, because it's Oreo, I, I haven't tasted chocolate in any of them at all whatsoever. Over here, I am tasting some kind of cookie, and it would be, the only way I can compare it to is if you've tasted like a, a donut uh, e-juice, or glazed donut e-juice, that, 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 you know, or a funnel cake that type of dough I'm tasting, okay? But nothing definite, nothing like a cookie, or I know I I, uh, uh, I I did a review of a juice and I think it was ice cream sandwich and I could taste the chocolate flavor. It was so distinguished, but I couldn't taste the ice cream. But uh, at least I could taste the chocolate and I've tasted a lot of the chocolatey juices that you know either come out in, in a bad way or come out in a really good way. This is zero chocolate. Right here. That's about it. Well, I've had enough of this. Okay, I've wasted seven fucking cottons that I'm going to clean out all these coils now. Uh, unfortunately, guys, this is one of those juices that just did not do it for me. And uh, uh, for the price point... If I had to suggest it to somebody, I would have to say, unfortunately, no. Because I'm not going to suggest a $25 e-juice at 60 millimeter, uh, milliliters uh, to have them spend $25 to take a chance on. Now, you're welcome to do what you want. But as for me, as a suggestion, I would say no. But what I will do, okay, along with another juice that hopefully you get to see that review, uh... This is a half a bottle left, not because I enjoyed it, but because I fucking tried it in, I don't know, maybe 20 RDAs, just for shits and giggles to see if something, uh, all different builds, flat coils, Clapton's, uh, straight round wire, uh, Canthal, stainless steel. I've did it in sub ohm tanks. I've done it in, in uh, RTAs, RDTAs. I, I tell you what, it remained consistently zero flavor so i'm going to send this to my buddy mark the simple vapor and, and the reason why i'm sending it to him because he has a, a, a very good palate and uh all the juices that he recommended to me personally have been phenomenal he recommended the army man uh stana uh, uh tiramisu by uh, uh vape wild uh, there was a bunch, the one, lemon, oh my God, crack, that shit is crack to me, you know, so he's got, he knows my flavor profile, he knows when he hears the juice, he goes, oh, Dominic would love this, and you know, and, and, and he's kind enough to send them over to me, you know, just to get my opinion as well, so I'm going to want his opinion on this for sure, I'm going to definitely send him the, uh, the half of this bottle, and I hope to God that he comes up with different results, because you know what, that would just prove that, you know what, well, you can't just take one person's opinion, being me at this po moment in time. So I'm hoping that he can taste something. And, and I'm hoping that he can elaborate more on the flavors that he's tasted. That's about all I can do. So with that said, guys, this ends this review of this e-liquid. This was Crooks, okay, by Alter Ego. Unfortunately, 
did not do nothing for me. Uh, I'm not saying that the e-juice is bad. I'm saying it did nothing for me. If I had to go out and purchase it again, hell fucking no, I would not. And if I had to suggest it to somebody, I am deeply sorry. I would not suggest it to you because it is in a high-end, you know, bracket of money, you know, to spend for an e-juice to try it out for the first time. I wouldn't suggest, I wouldn't do that to anybody. I wouldn't do that to you guys. So I, I have to be honest and say, no, I wouldn't suggest it. So that concludes our video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. This is The Vape and Ryan. I hope these videos are helping you out. And I hope that you can uh, consider subscribing and maybe tell a friend. And until then, I'll catch you on my next review.